What's up, guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectibles. Uh, coming at you today with a toy hunt. Um, been about two weeks since I did one of these. I uh, took a weekend off last weekend. Just every now and then, I need a break just to, uh, you know, not have to be out running around looking for stuff. So it was kind of nice, kind of relaxing. Uh, did a uh, good many reviews this week, kind of focused a little more on that. I had a lot of new stuff come in uh, with the Super 7 stuff uh got some cool stuff coming in this week which we'll be taking a look at uh we got the mezco uh christopher reeve superman the hush superman uh so got some neat stuff coming in in the next day or two so we'll be getting some more reviews out on that uh, but i definitely wanted to get back uh to my bread and butter which is the toy hunts see what's out there uh, also the kind of the little break i took too is just kind of let some of these stores get stuff in stock i was kind of seeing like a trend where it just wasn't a lot of new stuff dropping. Uh, so, you know, no sense really in going out and doing a toy hunt and boring you guys with, uh, you know, empty pegs. So we're hoping maybe a kind of a two week break there. We'll, uh, you know, we'll see some pegs today full of some toy goodness. So anyways, uh, we'll get to it. So we're at a Walmart right now. We're gonna hit up some Walmart, some Targets, uh, probably a toy store or two, uh, you know, within this toy hunt. So yeah, hang around. Drop those comments below. You can drop the comments as the video goes. Uh, you know, if you need to leave 10 comments, leave 10 comments. But, uh, you know, I love that interaction with you guys on these toy hunts. So definitely put your thoughts below and uh, let me know what you guys are finding, where you're finding it, that type of thing. But uh, anyways, let's get started. We're here at our first Walmart. Let's see what they got on the shelves. All right, guys. So here we are in our first Walmart. That ain't, ain't a good sign. But it looks a little more full as, uh, as we move down here. So we'll see kind of what they got here. We got the real Ghostbuster stuff here. We got that Slimer and and the uh, Stay Puffed. So looks like maybe they sold all the Ghostbusters, but got those. Got the PKU meter there. And another Stay Puffed down there, looks like. So this is all of our legends, our AEW figures. Um, they're pretty much empty there. So I haven't gotten a restock on those yet. And our Batman, our Spin Master stuff. So it looks like they kind of moved the Batman and Spin Master stuff. They moved it down to, uh, down to this, kind of in the middle of the aisle where it used to be, kind of up at the tops of the aisles. Got a Black Series armor over there. Pretty nice. Brief cargo. Oh, we got the uh, Jar Jar there. That's a pretty good looking figure there. Got a lot of them, actually. A ton of Jar Jars back in there. Got one of the Headmaster Brainstorms there. Oh, got a restock of the Reds. Looks like we got them all here. We got a Prime, Soundwave, and Megatron. So got all three of them. God, man, I've been so tempted to try to pick these up, but uh, I don't know. Thank you. We got a Thank One you. Kingdom figure there. Thank you. And then as we come on around here, we got some of the the Lenard. Predators there. Got the 12 inch and then like the, I guess like seven inch maybe. The Roblox, bunch of Origins here. Looks like still all wave one from what I can tell. Yeah, but it almost looks like a restock of wave one. All the uh, Battle Cats there. Got a restock of Cygor. Got the AW wrestling ring there. Got the raw wrestling ring down there. Got Undertaker there on his bike. Belt. That's about it here for that. Let's go back and check the NECA section. Alrighty, guys, we're back in the NECA section here. We got some Bob Ross action and Groot some gremlins in here so i'm new i don't see a lot of gremlins at walmart but they got a handful of them here 
Evil Dead, Halloween, looking pretty good. Some more than My Hero Academia. Looks like we do got a stain back in there. Some Eda. It's really nice. Second wave seems to look a little better than the first wave did QC wise. I had some big issues with the QC in the first one. Kind of bummed me out on the whole line, but looks like they kind of worked that out. Got some fig pins, some new fig pins, it looks like. So we got all of our, all of our uh, Funko Pops there. I don't really collect Funko, but this right here is one I'm tempted to pick up. I may pick up one of these at some point. Try to just collect the turtles from the Funko, from that line. There's another Donatello down there. All right, cool. Let's head on to Target. All right, guys, so we got a Walmart out of the way. We are now at a Target. Uh, for Walmart, it's kind of cool. A couple good restocks, like the uh, Transformers Red figures, if that's something you're into. I've been super tempted to buy those uh, at some point. Let me know what you guys think of those. Um, you know, are there a lot of folks collecting those? I, I know they, they seem to, you know, get bought up pretty quick when I've kind of seen them in the first, uh, you know, kind of go around. So uh, we'll see how fast, you know, how long they sit on shelves for the second go around. But they're good looking figures. Uh, definitely can't deny that. I just wasn't a hundred percent sure that, that the line was going to go for very long. Uh, once I kind of saw the scale of them, you know, I don't know, it's kind of worried me a little bit. So we'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think out there about them. Let's run on in this target, see what we can find on the shelves. All right, guys, one of the first things I've kind of come across here is looks like we got uh, a couple of the studio series transformers on the end cap and then some more of the buzzworthy bumblebee stuff and then uh, we got these these are kind of kind of cool they're a little very very cartoony um but it's like a diorama that you can put together Here we are in the wrestling section. Got some basic series, Becky, Tegan. Ron. I'm not really collecting the basic series stuff. I'm sticking more to the elites and the ultimate stuff, but some more of the origin stuff there in stock. Some Fortnite stuff. Halo stuff starting to kind of peg warm a little bit. Got some new Mario here, got Shy Guy. I've seen the Black Yoshi. Got just the regular Mario there. Looks like we got some Retro guarded storms down here. Doesn't look like we got any legends. There's the legends pegs. So we got none of those. Oh, this is pretty cool here. The Ecto-1. I'm hoping they do a repaint of that. I don't want the uh, kind of rusted out version. So hopefully they do like a original movie repaint. I think that would be cool. Um, and then I will buy that. Got some more Transformers Studio. Ooh, there's Cup. I got two cups in there. More Jazz and Blur. Oh, there's Batman. Dark, dark, nice death metal Batman there. Let's head over to the NECA section. 
All right, over the next section, there's some Dallas from Alien there. It's more Back to the Future. I watched some of that movie the other day. It was such a classic movie. TMNT anymore. Oh, that's pretty much gone. Jungle Hunter, Ultimate Edition, Aliens. There's another end cap in here, guys, and we do have some naked TMNT. That right there, that has been there for two weeks. I think last time I was here, that was sitting there. So, I don't know if it's the placement of it or what it is, but it ain't selling. All right, guys, so uh, we got a target out of the way, and we are here at another target. Uh, the last target uh, didn't really look too good. Walmart was certainly better, uh, but now we're here at another target, so let's run on inside, see what kind of luck we have. All right, guys, we are in Target. Got a pretty well-stocked Target here. Got a King Sphinx down there. A couple of the, uh, what was that, Plasma Series, Ghostbuster, Ecto 1s. About ready for that movie to come on out. Got some Power Ranger 2 packs down here. A whole bunch of them, looks like. Got some uh, Frogman, Storm. We've got some wrestling figures here. Shorty G got the new Bray basic figure. Got the Grief Carga and the Quill. Got a Quill there. Pretty good looking figure there. Black Series figure. The Origins figures hanging around. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Come on. Get the new Scientist Fortnite. Looking good. Then we got kind of a messy NECA section over here. Gremlins and aliens. Got another Ecto One kind of out of place over here. Now, what the deal is with these Billy Eilish action figures? Kind of crazy. Just to each his own there. But yeah, not a whole lot going on here in the NECA section. All right, guys, another target out of the way. Uh, that target was pretty well stocked. I, I can't really complain. Had some decent stuff. Uh, we're now at another Walmart, so we're going to hit that up right now. Let's see uh, if we have some luck. Man, I'd love to find like these AEW figures. That's really what I'm looking for. Any of them. I, you know, I've gotten maybe three or four uh, that I've picked up that I found in Target, uh, on like a little shorts, uh, toy hunt. Let's see. No, I don't think I did a shorts toy hunt on that, but I did find them and, uh, put them in my haul video last week. So you can see those if you check out my haul video, but, uh, but anyways, let's go on in this Walmart, see if we have any luck. All right, guys. So looks like a pretty well stocked Walmart in here. So I'm kind of excited about this one. We got our Ghostbusters, our Kenner Ghostbusters figures, Slimers, and I see any Stay Puff from that one. 
Hmm, we got some Marvel Legends too. What is this? What the heck? This is some stuff we haven't seen in a while. Some Jacostas up here. It's Peter B. Yeah. Some Superman, Batman stuff here. We got a got the spawn. Mandarin spawn. Man, that thing looks good. Got another restocker red here, it looks like. They got Prime and Megatron. Got some Jazz Studio. That red alert there. Warpath. Man, this, this Walmart here is stocked up. That's what we like to see right here. I'm moving on down here. <clears throat> Some Lenard stuff. 12 inch and 7 inch aliens. You know, we got uh, seeing a lot of that first wave there. Still hanging around. Three and a three quarter inch. And there we got a lot of jar jars here. So if you're looking for jar jars, it looks like Walmart's are uh, definitely getting them in. So you want to get out and hunt those. Look at here, we do have an AEW figure here. I may go ahead and pick that up just to get it, just because AEW is so hard. And we got an Edge as well. So that's kind of the, like the young Edge. Pretty good. This was in that wave. And you get the Paul Eller, Ellering, Ellering head and tore up upper, upper torso. But I got the ultimate edge coming, so I think that's gonna be my edge. And I got these uh, beast mode wrestling figures here. Is all what you get first wave, I guess. Pretty cool, but yeah, nice to find one AEW figure. Alright, guys, over in the NECA section here, <coughs> we do have uh, looks like we got a Terminator there, pretty nice looking by NECA. A couple of those. We got some Cyberpunk hanging around, big pins, this one. Walmart typically always has kind of a small NECA section, so I don't expect much here. But uh, yeah, that's it for that. I'm still walking out with an AEW. All right, guys, so we did find an AEW figure. That was actually kind of my goal today was to find some AEW figures. I found one. It wasn't really a figure I was wanting to find, uh, but these dang things have become so hard to find. I'm just like, if you find one, grab it. Who cares who it is? Just get it. Uh, so we got it. Um, we're going to run into Target here and uh, see what they got on the shelves. All right, guys, we'll start in the wrestling section today. Let's we'll see what we got here. Got a Braun Strowman. That might be one I pick up. It's an Elite. I don't have a Braun. That's Elizabeth. Got some basics here. Some old Joe. I don't really want him, but I might get that Braun. A lot of empty pegs though. You can see uh, all the empty ones in there. Got the uh, Origins figures there. That's pretty cool there. Mega Constructs, I hadn't seen that before out and about. And some Jurassic World. We have the, oh that's an RC Jeep Wrangler. And spinning on around here. Some Batman. There's something new. This is from the uh, the new Bane. 
collect and connect our way right here. So that's new, I haven't seen. Looks like they got two figures from, from the Bane, collect and connect. Oh, these are the older ones. I've got uh, plenty of Grimlock down here. I've been tempted to buy another Grimlock to pose as uh, kind of in his robot form. His mother one is posed in the dino form. Got some negative Spidey, a couple Marvel Legends here, older ones, but in the new wave there. I'm gonna come around to the end right here, see what we got. Got some stuff. And all our video game stuff out through here. Halo and Fortnite. We do got the Fortnite chopper, which is that's pretty cool. Collect the Fortnite stuff. Let's check out NECA. Hey right, guys, we're in the NECA section over here. We've got some Ultimate Stalker Predator there. Something new, maybe. And we got the Scout Predator as well. Something I haven't seen a whole lot of. Looks like they got a handful of those. That ghost face here. It's pretty cool looking there. No smell, no taste. Pretty cool. See? It. Looks like no TMNT. So the TMNT stuff for the most part, looks like from what we found today, has been cleared out. So we'll be waiting on the next, whatever comes next. I don't know what's coming next. Drop it in the comments if you know what's coming next. Is it Mondo Gecko? The two pack maybe? All right guys, so we are at another Walmart. Had to do a little switcheroo on the vehicles and uh, uh, get uh, get the truck out but um, yeah it's just a nasty day man look at I mean it's just raining it's in like the high 30s man what a great day for toy hunting you know uh, but anyways we're gonna hit up a Walmart and see what they got maybe find some more AEW if we're lucky uh, then we're gonna hit up uh, our friends over at Needless Toys which is a really cool toy shop uh, kind of in my area so we'll check that out so hang around for that as well uh, but let's go ahead and head on into Walmart. Hey guys, here we are in the uh, toy section here. So got back to uh, having the uh, Ghostbusters Stay Puff there and Slimer. Pretty cool. Ooh, we got some uh, GI Joes. Check this out. We got Duke. Um, what else we got in here? More Snake Eyes. So Duke is really. That's it, just Duke. So pretty cool. I guess I need to pick that up. Uh, as I do currently have a collection of the 3.75s. And then, that, man, we got a ton of the uh, Miles Wave. Got them all. I think I guess we got all of them. But yeah, pretty cool. That's, uh, that's a big stock of those. They're nice. Like we got the Origins figure, still wave one though. Got a uh, Batman White Knight here, hanging out, pretty cool. With the Spin Master stuff. Lots of Jar Jars in here. So if you're looking for Jar Jar, get out and find them. And then we have a Optimus Primal with a Megatron Red inside. So, yeah, pretty funny there. <laughs> yep, that's interesting there. Somebody got him good on the return there. 
and then uh, coming on down here got some more Lita. Fortnite down there. We got the Leonard stuff. I don't know, spinning around. Got our Halo. Wrestling stuff is gone, man. Wrestling is like the hottest stuff out right now. But you can just see that they're completely empty pegs there for wrestling. All right, guys, so no AEW or wrestling figures in Walmart, but we did see the G.I. Joe from the net, from the newest wave, so that was cool, Duke. Um, saw a couple couple things that were, you know, ain't stuff we, we haven't already seen. Um, did see a, a red figure, a Transformers red figure in a Kingdom box, so that was kind of neat to see. Uh, but anyways, we're now at Needless Toys. This is a toy store over here in Lincoln to North Carolina. A uh, pretty, pretty new store, uh, but, but we like them. We've been here a few times. We've uh, bought some different stuff from them. So, but it's been probably about a month since we've been out here. So we're going to check these guys out and see if they got anything new on their shelves. All right, guys. So we are inside of Needless Toys. So I'll put a link in the description to these guys so you guys can check them out. They just started, told me they just started carrying Hot Wheels and stuff, so we'll, we'll check out what they got, Hot Wheels wise. But uh, let's start off here in their side room over here. See what they got. If you if you see anything here that you're liking and you're local, uh, then definitely swing in the shop. These guys are in Lincoln to North Carolina. If you're not local, then uh, hit them up on their social media. Got a lot of Marvel Legends, some old stuff over here. Uh, but the cool stuff's coming up here soon. Not that this stuff ain't cool, but uh, he's got some really nice new stuff that uh, that we'll take a look at here your son this is pretty awesome right here too the Cool stuff down here too. God, you gotta love that techno drone right there. Got some AEW here. I, might, I need this one. I might be picking that up. Got. Got both the tag team partners. Rio. Oh, we got a super shredder up here. If you're looking for a super shredder, here you go. Nice one. Box looks really nice too. Secret Wars Tower and Doom there. Got all the turtles here. Justice, that's awesome. So cool. Look at that. 
These boxes, man, I'd, that'd be cool just taking these boxes and displaying nothing but the box. It's got a huge wall of Funko Pops here. All right, and spinning around here. Got a lot of 3.75 inch stuff here. Like there, the Grimlocks. Bumblebee there. Red. Star screen. I mean, uh, sound wave. Got all the Kingdom figures, it looks like here. Same thing for Honda. Lots of primals. Um, I'm worried about the, the churn because it does say sold out. Pretty good prices on these too. 35 bucks from a secondary market standpoint. Always better, obviously, if you find a retail, but if you can't find a retail, that's a pretty fair price. Here is a double dealer. We got a handful of double dealers. Got an Astro train there. Been spinning around here. Got some GI Joes here. Gung Ho looks amazing. Arctic Storm Shadow. At one point in time, I did. Pretty cool there. We'll swing on around here. Well, let's take a look at the Transformers first. Breaker there, you got the Siege Prowl. Yeah, about four kids that come in here and they tear through the Star Wars blues. Yeah. Alright guys, then we got our Mezcos. A little tougher to see. You see we got Hellboy in there. Aquaman. Green Lantern, Nightmare on Elm Street, Two Face, Yep. Look at this thing right here, looks so well done. SH Figures, Batman there. It's the fighting armor. Oh man, this one I was thinking about picking up actually. A couple two packs up here. Cool, got a Grandmaster. Loki. Some Hot Wheels here. Check out over here. Got a whole bunch of the 25th anniversary, which are some of the best ones out there. And we got this kind of a whole wall of 3.75 inch here.
stolen energy is taken from this area, this entire galaxy could crumble. Yeah, try telling that to fail. You were a fool of the cool original stuff. There's a Muck Man original. It's awesome right there, man. I just Super 7 did such a good job on that. Already compensating for damage. So moving on around here. Got some Mazcos there. Some hot toys. <laughs> Look at that crane, man. That thing is flawless. That's amazing right there. I would absolutely die to have that. We got some uh, legends over here. Oh, Megan looks really good. I was just trying to think about how my back's not going to be heading a little bigger. Some loose legends. Yeah. Pretty cool AJ there. Rhonda. And Baylor. Making a mess here. Come here, we got some more legends up here. Some nice two packs. That's a real nice two pack there. And the AOE. I mean, AOA. Apocalypse. Cold Max. Max Battler. And then coming around. That's pretty cool, Bubba. Classics. There's some original Bucky O'Hare. Pretty cool. Some more classics down here. Man at Arms. And Doomsday and Lobo looking really nice. You're good, man. I, I was gonna go over him. I didn't want him to feel like he had to move for me. Okay, all right, cool. Well, technically, you can't afford it. Yeah, and we're right there. I mean, I got three, three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. The charge on these. The last thing you need Good prices on these. Before I touch any of y'all's stuff. We're What's up, guys? We are back in the man cave. We are done with our toy hunt uh, for this weekend. Uh, had, had a fun time. Um, didn't see a ton of stuff that, you know, we had hoped to find, uh, but we did find some stuff. So let's jump on first into what we picked up today. So the first thing that we picked up was the Rio uh, figure. We got this at Walmart. So you can see looking pretty good. This is from Series 3 AEW. So I was really, really happy uh, to have 
Uh, this out in the wild, uh, it's, it wasn't one of the top figures that I was trying to find, but uh, you know, kind of as I discussed in my video, these AEW figures are so hot right now. It's like if you can find them at retail or you can find them for, you know, a little even above retail, you know, 30, 35 bucks, uh, they're well worth going ahead and picking up because they're just hard to find. It is definitely uh, probably outside of like NECA TMNT. Well, in fact, these may be even harder than NECA TMNT to find right now. Then we went over and saw our friends at Needless Toys in Lincolnton, and we were able to pick up the Young Bucks. So we got Matt and Nick here from the Young Bucks. These are part of that same Series 3 AEW line. Uh, so uh, I'm trying to think here. From this line, I've got Darby, uh, Rio, and Matt and Nick. I still need Orange Cassidy and Pac. So they did have Pac at Needless, uh, but... I just passed on him for now. May, I may turn back and get him at some point. Uh, he is one that I want. Um, so really happy to have uh, this tag team here. Uh, probably one of the coolest tag teams in AEW. Um, but anyways, got these guys at Needless. And then maybe my favorite pickup of the day, which you guys didn't see because kind of toward the end of my toy hunt at Needless Toys, uh, Tracy, the guy that runs it, he was like, hey man, come check out this box that I just got in. He just got in a trade in and look at what I found, the nasty boys. I thought this was awesome, finding these two guys uh, in this box. He had not even priced this stuff yet. It was just a full box of wrestling figures and there was actually a whole bunch more that I probably would have wanted. Um, but was trying to uh, kind of shop a little bit on a budget today as I've had a lot of stuff kind of come in this week and be purchased. But uh, the nasty boys, uh, you know, I mean, just look at the, the face sculpts on these two, phenomenal. I mean, there's no question who these guys are. They kind of have these soft rubber uh, jackets on with the, kind of their iconic cutoffs underneath. Just looks really, really good. Uh, so I thought this was a cool tag team to add to my wrestling collection. As you know, if you've been following my channel, uh, you know, I'm kind of collecting a lot of the stuff from you know the the 80s wrestlers the 90s wrestlers maybe a little bit early 2000s that's kind of my kind of where i'm at but anyways just another good toy hunt there i picked up a couple things that i'm pretty happy about um again needless toys in lincoln to north carolina there's information in the description for those guys definitely go check them out um if you're not local uh, hit them up you know at one of the social media options or call them uh you know and see if they can work out something with you as far as either by mail or whatever. Uh, they just have a really good selection. And uh, and again, any of the toy stores that I uh, go and hunt, you know, the Back in Time Collectibles, Gamers Alley, uh, Rebel Base, you know, all those guys are, are super, super guys. I do a lot of business with each of them. And, uh, you know, they're always there to kind of help. So, you know, always feel free to hit those guys up on their social media outlets. If you see something in one of my toy hunt videos that you would like or you're interested in, Hit that like button. It helps get this video out there for other people to be able to see. It's how the YouTube analytics work. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectibles team. I think we just hit 3,500 subscribers, so we're growing uh, pretty fast, and I'm very happy with where we're at, and I'm so grateful for all your guys' support. I just got, I have, I believe, the coolest subscriber base in the YouTube community, toy community. Um, I just, it's just always positive. You guys keep it so positive and that's how I want it to be. And uh, hopefully we'll always be able to maintain that. So anyways, drop those comments down below. What do you think of my haul today? Did you see something in the, in the video that maybe I forgot to point out? Always throw those comments in, timestamp it. I like to go back and look. You guys are phenomenal. Y'all have eyes of an eagle when it comes to these toy hunts. Y'all spot stuff that I just sometimes just pass right by and totally miss. So it's cool when you guys spot it and put the timestamp in there so I can go back and check it out. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Until next time, 